Okay. okay. Asian squat right here, Asian squat. But um, what I want to talk to you guys about is like... Um, the tool that I found that for me is very good for use for um, pulling out weeds. Not just pulling out weeds, but rooting them out. Is a basic paint scraper. The cheapest paint scraper that you can get that's uh, stiff, not not the one that bends, not the soft one, the stiff one. And what I did was file file the edge, this one side. So this is sharp, this is still dull, this is, this is sharper. I filed it with a mill file and then I can uh, easily just show you an example. like this weeds just go for the roots stab pull stab the roots and it's it's a little faster i think well it's it's more efficient than any other tool that i have ever had like a, a knife or doing this thing or any other heavy tool no yeah true you can like put put like chemicals on your ground and then uh, kill bugs and kill other things that don't go for it and then you can't plant things on your ground because you have chemicals in it you can't you know all that stuff that's extra expense but with a little elbow grease and then uh, vitamin D D3 exercise <laughs> from the Sun you can use this and it's really easy to kill the weeds I mean like to get the weeds off your lawn so you go for the you go for what's underneath the for the roots so that you can pull it out see here's the base of the weed you have to be able to identify the weed so that's the base of the weed I don't know what this plant is maybe it's medicinal or something I mean there's a reason that it grows so or nature created it uh, so identify where the base is go for the sharp edge tab and pick i think this is an efficient tool thought about it maybe there are better tools than this but this is the least expensive that i can think of and efficient and how could you break this right it could go dull and you can break you could probably break it if you're like strong enough to stab it through the um a rock but you should be sensible that like if you're hitting something hard you should stop so for me this is the best tool for uh rooting out weeds and probably uh digging prepping the soil too for gardening this will be a an efficient one too i'm gonna get a bigger one because this is definitely cheaper than the the gardening shout last sh gardening small shovel that they sell for gardening you know yeah it's not a shovel so maybe yeah i have those tools too but i find this for for doing what i'm doing with it the most cost uh efficient way to do it so i really love this tool no, it doesn't have to be the brand it's just the type a stiff paint scraper and you can really like do it fast all right um, that's what i'm dealing with this this weeds this little things with yellow on top these things that's what i'm going after there See? me focus on this guy so identify the the root go for it and one step and you can pull and this I'm trying to preserve the the good grass for car the carpet I'm trying to preserve that and I'm also going try, trying to I can't just like lawn mow this this uh part of the lawn because I'm trying to also preserve the blue bonnet the 
the buttercups, the blue bonnets, I'm trying to preserve them. So with a lawnmower, it will just like eat everything. So I don't want to do that. That's why I'm putting a little some time and uh, going after one weed at a time with this one. There's not a lot of them. It looks like there's a lot, but if you really like look at it and then study the landscape, there's not a lot of them. You can you can count them. You can almost count them. You might not be able to identify where they are because you know you're not paying attention or anything. But like, if you are, it's pretty. They're there and they're easy to identify. All right. Now, how do you turn this off again? <laughs> I don't have fingers, so this one has a little hole. 